we both know that smaller is better. Well, at <laughs> least when it comes to our campers. But just in case you've ever felt cramped inside your small camper, fear not, mighty warriors, because I've got seven simple hacks and tricks up my sleeve, plus one bonus that I'm gonna share with you at the end that's gonna make your tiny space feel a whole lot bigger. Hi, I'm Randy, and every Thursday I help you make paint memories in small campers. And my first hack is instantly going to give you the illusion of more space. Hack number one, mirrors. Mirrors can really be a game changer. I've got a mirror in my small, tiny wet bath. And trust me, this mirror makes this tiny space look and feel so much more spacious. If I didn't have this mirror inside of my bathroom, it would feel a whole lot smaller. Wouldn't you agree? But here's an important tip. You don't want to use a heavy mirror like a mirror that you would hang at home. You want one that's lightweight, shatterproof, and non-breakable. Because the last thing you want to have happen is your mirror fall off the wall when you're traveling down the road. So the best type of mirror for an RV is an acrylic mirror, like this fogless shower mirror that uses adhesive to mount it so it doesn't require any drilling or these self-adhesive mirror sheets. The options are really endless. These kind of mirrors are lightweight and they're not gonna break. Wherever you don't have natural light from a window is a great place to add a mirror. Or another good place is on the inside of a cabinet door. Plus you can check to see how great you look before you hit the hiking trail. Is there a spot in your small camper that would look bigger if there was a mirror? If your camper doesn't have a lot of windows, this next hack will definitely make your tiny space feel bigger. Hack number two, let there be light. I can't believe I just sang that. Windows are the number one way that will instantly transform any small camper into a space that feels so much bigger because they let the natural light come in and they create an illusion of more space. Windows are a double dose of goodness. That's because there's something pretty special about being able to view the outside scenery when you're sitting inside your camper, even when you're winter camping like I am now. But what if your camper doesn't have a lot of windows or there's an area in your camper that doesn't get a lot of natural light? Making that space feel dark and small. And that's where a cordless wall light like this one comes in. What's great about these lights is that they can be virtually placed anywhere and they're gonna take your dark but closed in area and brighten it up and make it feel just more open. I do have a lot of natural light coming in here, but say for instance, you had a corner here and there wasn't a window right there. And then what I do is I'd install a light right up here, right where my reading light is. And the light I just showed you would be ideal for a location like this because that light swivels. If you didn't have a window back here or back in your bedroom area, you can install a light up on your ceiling. But if you needed to put a light, say for instance, underneath your cubbies or in your bathroom, or you wanted extra light above your kitchen sink area, then using wireless stick-on puck lights is the way to go. I'm fortunate that my camper has a lot of big windows to let in all of that natural light. And windows is one of the important things I talked about in a previous video that I did about how not to buy the wrong small camper. If you haven't watched that video yet, I'll leave a link to it in the video description below so you can check it out after you're done watching this video. Here's another tip for you. Don't buy a light that requires any drilling and look for one that's rechargeable so you don't have to worry about replacing the batteries all the time. All of the products that I'm mentioning are on my how to make your small camper feel bigger Amazon ideal list and I'll leave a link to that in the video description below so you can easily find these things on Amazon. Hack number three, ditch the clutter and stay organized. It's so easy to let things pile up, but these piles of clutter will make your camper feel smaller. When I first bought my camper, I had bought a couple of yellow throw pillows because I wanted to make it feel homey. I bought these yellow pillows because they reminded me of sunshine. And the sun always just makes me so happy. I don't know if you've ever noticed that the border around all of my YouTube videos are yellow. And I decided on doing this right away because 
it reminded me of the sun. It made me feel happy. And every Thursday, I just want to bring a little sunshine to your life. Okay, back to my story. I originally bought these yellow pillows for my dinette area. Well, then every time we would go to eat or do anything sitting at the dinette, then I'd toss them on my bed. Then when we'd go to bed, I had to move them. And so then I'd toss them on top of the kitchen counter. I was constantly moving them. They were always in the way. It might be tempting to buy throw pillows like I did. When it comes to accessories and decorating a small camper, less can definitely be more. And these items, they just add clutter. So try to keep this type of decorating to a minimum. After after I use something, I try to put it back right away, back where it belongs, because it only takes a few of these things to make your tiny space feel cluttered and have a designated place for everything. This makes it easy to find your stuff too. Go through all your cabinets and your drawers and your pantry, anywhere that you store things. And I challenge you, if you find something that you haven't used in the past year, get rid of it. Are you gonna take my challenge? Hack number four, think vertically. If you don't have enough storage space to keep your tiny space tidy and organized, use your wall space. Let me show you an example of what I mean back in my bathroom. And there's no room for a cabinet or a medicine cabinet in this tiny bathroom. So by using a shower organizer on my wall, I'm able to have a spot and a space for a lot of my bathroom things that I wouldn't otherwise have storage space for in my bathroom. On another wall in my bathroom, I use command strip hooks and I like the large sized ones. These are perfect for hanging my bathroom towels up, especially when they're wet. I've also been using adhesive hooks to store our doggy bags and our dog leash and for things like keys so they don't get lost. Just like having too many things around can make your camper feel smaller, the same will be true for your walls. So use the wall space sparingly. But using your walls is a clever way to add extra storage space. If you have a tip or a hack up your sleeve, let me know. Share it with me and all the other fabulous people in this community. That way we can all learn from each other. And your comments give me ideas for future video topics. So thank you for your comments. Hack number five, maximize your existing storage space. For the longest time, I've been just throwing things in my kitchen cabinet. Things certainly weren't organized, and I had forgotten about some of the things I had buried in this mess. Then I added an expandable shelf, and it nearly doubled my cabinet space. I can't believe all of the stuff that fit in here. And then when I want something, I just pull it out, take whatever I want out, and put it back. It's kind of crazy how just adding one adjustable shelf can add so much more space and keep us more organized. Hack number six, brighten things up. If your small camper trailer has dark colored walls, Brightening them up is really gonna make your camper feel more spacious and bigger. That's because dark colored walls close spaces in. But white is the champion for making small spaces feel bigger. So if you need to brighten up your walls to make your tiny space feel bigger, there's two easy solutions. And the first one is you could paint your walls a lighter color. But maybe an easier solution would be to use peel and stick wallpaper. My camper came with this peel and stick wallpaper, so I didn't install this, but I did add peel and stick tiles to the wall around my kitchen window, just to jazz things up a little bit. And it was fairly easy to install. Changing dark colored walls to light colored walls is gonna have a dramatic impact on making your small space feel bigger. And that could be a really fun weekend project. Hack number seven, create sheltered outdoor living space. Having an outdoor shelter will expand your camping hanging out space when it's raining or the mosquitoes are attacking you. So Mary, this is your clam shelter. How long does it take you to set it up? Ready, set, go. Okay, Mary, how long did that take? Two minutes and one second. That's fast. Yep, the best thing that I like about this 
is this screening that's on the clam. Look at how thick that weave is. No seams can't get through here. Mosquitoes can't get through here. So when you are inside like this, you are relatively bug free. Full size picnic table. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's take a look. And look at this, you have definitely got room to spare. All of a sudden it's the nice big one. Don't get the smaller one, get the bigger one. You're gonna want the bigger one. A screened in tent is gonna double your hanging out space, especially when it's raining out and there's mosquitoes around. They're really getting me. Plus it's a great place to hang out when you have company because there's not enough space in our small campers to invite people over. The clam, the screen porch that Mary and Mark love so much is also included in my Amazon how to make your small camper feel bigger idealist. Bonus hack. And this one's my absolute favorite because the less time that we spend inside our campers, the less cramped our campers are gonna feel when we do spend time inside, right? Yeah. <laughs> of course, a fun picnic table cover is a must, but my favorite way to spruce up my campsite is by using these tea lights. I place them on my picnic table, around trees, by my camper, and around my campsite. They look like flickering candles, and they add such a nice ambiance. I have more fun things that I do to glamp up my campsite. And if you're looking for ways to jazz your campsite up, click on this video right up here right now to get some really easy and fun ideas. I can't wait to see you over in this video next and, of course, next Thursday.